Hey, how's it going? Swatch with me. Artessa watercolor paints. There are 36 of these jobbies. <laughs> I've had this paint set for a long, long time, and as you can see, they look just like I just bought them. And that's mostly because I haven't used them. Yep, I bought them and put them aside. I don't know why. So I thought, well, let's make a swatch card. So this comes with 36 colors, like I said. Uh, they cannot be moved around. I'm going to point with this brush. It comes with this number three round brush. And it may have come with a water brush pen. I just cannot remember if it did. And if it did, I don't know where it is. <laughs> it could be in a number of places. Anyway... Right here, you can see it looks like a little, maybe a little bit of white, maybe. You might be able to see that. Gonna zoom in a little. I mean, I have to zoom in anyway for it to, to do it, the swatching. But right here, that's glue, and I was messing around with it. And then there's another one right here that you can't really see too, too unless you look really closely. There's a little bit of glue there. You can kind of feel it. And I'm thinking, oh, these are glued in? That's a bummer because I wanted to see if I could get them out and then put them in the order I want them to be in. So there are also no color names. So I've seen swatches on Amazon that show just numbering like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, like that, all the way to 36. And I thought, oh, I think maybe I'll just color them in and then uh, maybe add the names. Uh, I might not do that on camera as far as adding the names go. Okay, another thing that this, this case comes with, so besides the brush, oh, it does have like a little hanger thing here that you can hang them up once they're dry. There's no ring or anything like that underneath. This is what it looks like underneath. And this comes out. So you can use this as a little palette of sorts or paint mixing area. So let me move the water out of the way. And let's try it out. You know, this is kind of, kind of weird. <laughs> this is, there's nowhere to put it. And I don't know. I always think, oh, just put it on the side. I always tend to put the water over to the left. And then... Oh, you can't see most of it. The water is kind of back there. And then... I have to reach across. And I don't want to do that. So I'm putting the little palette thing over here. And, of course, then I'm still going to be reaching across. But I don't think you'll see it as much because I'm going to zoom in as much as I can. Oh, this is a little bit crooked. The paper is, I thought it only appropriate to do the swatch on Artessa Expert watercolor paper. This came as a three-pack. This is part of the book. It's not a very bu big book. It's five and a half by eight and a half. I think I've, I've said that in the other Swatch With Me videos. Okay. And I also brought out the Royal and Langnickel uh, brush. And this is, I think, number four. No, not Royal and Langnickel. This is Spearer Farben uh, number four. And this one's already been, I've already removed that coating. But this one still had the coating on it. So let's do that. I don't know, do I need a paper towel? Tammy? <laughs> yeah, Tammy's not prepared for that. <clears throat> I don't know. I will go with, I have a baby wipe on the side here. Okay. So let's start with the black which is way up here wait <laughs> we can't even see it really black in a black case and let 
to have a little more water, maybe. I should spray it. Uh, I thought I'd try the brush. Oh, that's horrible. Maybe I should have sprayed these. Hey, that's an idea. Spray these, Tammy. Put your blue mat down. Very, very black. Definitely black. I don't think I'm going to be able to use the brush. <clears throat> brush it for me is too... Uh, too what? Too, too narrow. That's the word. <laughs> there we go. I'm not going for perfection. I'm not trying to stay in the lines. I don't think that's going to work for me. I'm just not a stay in the lines person, I guess. I don't know. Okay, let's try. I'm going to try this one. I should try one of the angled, my angled brushes or something. The other Artesa brushes that I have are... Wow, that is... I don't know. Look at that. It's almost dried. Wow. That's the, the plastic sleeve that you hear that came on the brush. <laughs> Protect the little brush. Okay, this is what I'm going to do. I am going to... I'm going to turn off the camera, and when I come back in, I'm going to zoom out a little bit. When I come at, back in, there will be a blue silicone mat underneath, and that's just because uh, it's kind of a more protection for my area around here. I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm going to... I'm going to take my water. This is just filtered water. I don't know why I keep shaking it. And I'm going to give these a spritz. All of them. Even though I'm not going to get to some of these right away. Just to kind of maybe loosen up the paint a little bit. And I just get it wet. Have fun with it. <laughs> okay. Then I'm going to... Did I get that one? <laughs> of course. Of course I did. I can't tell. I can't tell on the silicone. We're having, a, having an extremely windy night tonight. It's uh, gusting up to 45 miles an hour. And you know normally down here where I live, it's windy down here. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Put the green there. <laughs> not too bad. No, it's not too bad. That's what I get for touching that water. Okay, let's see. So we just did black. That's up. That's almost dried, I think. And I'm gonna come down. You're not gonna see the colors. The next one is a purple color. Let's see. Where are we? Where am I? <laughs> Where are we? Ooh, look at that. How much of that can you see? What is that color? That's kind of, what is that, like mauve or something? I kind of like the almost eye or leaf shape. It's like a dusty lavender or something. The next color is... I have no idea. Magenta? Or maybe like a burgundy? I, I did go to the Artesa website last night to look to see if <clears throat> uh, 
to see if there were any color names for these colors, and no, there aren't. I guess I could look at the... I think their colors are roughly the same. You know, now that I've sprayed these, I can see, like, the pink here almost looks like I got some other <laughs> color, probably this purple. I don't know. We'll find out. Whatever. Usually, we don't... Usually, I don't color... Oh, that's cool. <clears throat> I usually don't color with just one color, and I like to uh, blend them sometimes. And most of the stuff I do... Oh, I'm seeing the chalky... The chalky tendency that some of the customers are saying on Amazon that has a chalky tendency. That black, oh yeah, oh yeah. It almost is drying... Uh, it's drying opaque or matte like uh, acrylic paints are. That's interesting. This is yellow, and who knows what I've mixed with it there. Well, this is yellow. Ooh, I like it. A nice deep yellow. <clears throat> Not a watercolor yellow. So maybe these aren't. It says they're watercolors. <laughs> maybe they're not. What is this? Lime green? Neon green? Ooh. I almost wish I could take that black back, that paint, <laughs> and and make a leaf color, leaf shape with it. Okay, this looks like a, maybe a vermilion red, which is a, a much brighter red. Mmm, that's red. Then what's this color? What's the color on the end? Next color is an orange or it looks orange, just plain orange. How many different colors? There are other different shades of orange in this palette. Oh yeah, that's orange. And this one looks dark, a darker red than the other one I just showed. Do I fix it? Don't do it. I was listening, I downloaded some of the videos. I downloaded the videos that were on the camcorder a couple of nights ago. Well, maybe three nights ago. I was listening to some of them, and I kept hearing a, like a rattle, like a staticky rattle. Okay, this next one is white. Then I'm going to dab <laughs> with the tissue there. Oh, I didn't... <laughs> this, this will have a tint to it, probably a red tint. Ooh, pink! That's terrible, Tammy. Let's see if we can get any more. Use the baby wipe to get some of that red off. Once you see red, then you just keep seeing it. All right? I just keep seeing it over and over. And I was thinking, oh no, I turned the volume up too high. Just too high. Now this shows pink, but that's because I have a little bit of red mixed in there. I'm sorry. Maybe I need, like, uh, what do I need? That's out. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna spray a little of the water. Just one spritz. Let's see if I can... Maybe get uh, more of that pink out of there. I don't know. I don't know if I can. Because I'm thinking, I'm going to think later when this dries. <laughs> what color is that? I don't have that in my palette. I know I'm going to be thinking that.
Maybe I can do the white over here. Maybe. No, do not come up here. Blue says hi. <laughs> I'm sorry, baby. Do not come up. Did you want to look out the window or something? You have to go. Go, go that way. I don't want him up here because he'll eat my paint, and that's never, ever a good idea. <clears throat> okay, the next one is, it looks very dark. Is it just plain blue? Speaking of blue, I have to move my palette out of the way. So. Yep, that would be blue. There are... Roughly four shades of purple. One, two, three, four, and about four different shades of blue. One, two, three, four, five. Five different shades. This is more, it's a, maybe like the blue violet. Oh, it's hard to say. What if I can do? No, that doesn't really show. Oh, yeah. No. Nope. Bad at that. I need my wash tub, Tammy. Dirty clean. Hello, dirty clean water. <laughs> How quickly she forgets. Quickly. None of that quickly. These swatch with me's are a couple of weeks apart from each other, and not just how you see them when they get uploaded to YouTube, but um, in actuality real life a couple of weeks apart from each other okay this is a gray yep is it that wind i don't know if you can hear that wind i didn't really hear the wind until maybe a couple of hours ago i can't hear it when it's just plain old blowing around out there, but when we get the gusts, you know, that's when it sounds like it's up to no good. Okay.
Okay, let's see. The next one is a bluish color. A light blue. Maybe this is cerulean. Oh, yeah. I like to call that royal blue. Or maybe this one's more like royal blue. It's leaving colors, blue colors on my white pair. So I was, earlier I was talking about, I got so distracted, probably because I wanted to get the blue silicone mat out. That might have been around that time. <clears throat> I was talking about the, I need way more juice there, Tammy. Let's color the inside of the palette here. I was talking about the speakers, and I kept hearing static. And I thought, oh no, what if the, the volume was too high on the camcorder? And it was several different videos I watched, and just to listen, and that's what I was hearing, that static or something, like something was too, like it turned the volume up too loud, you know? And I thought, this is horrible. You know, the camcorder is relatively new. Uh, I bought it in November, October 2020, I think. And so I, I haven't, I've been using it for, for several months now, but I've never, ever had a volume problem with my camcorders, never with the Canon, like as, you know, to that degree, staticky and uh, kind of tinny almost sounding, and I thought, oh no, so I went back into settings on the camcorder, oh no, that's an orange, what, what is that, is that maybe yellow, orange, yellow or something, 
Maybe that's what that is. And I turned the volume down, and then tonight I was listening to a video on YouTube, and I heard that sound again. And I was just like, now why do I hear that sound? <laughs> Maybe my speakers, my computer speakers are going, which is really bad. I really don't want that to happen, because no, no blue. Okay. I have, uh, I bought the Bose speakers when I bought my computer in 2010. And, and they're Bose speakers. I've never had problems with them. And I thought, oh no, maybe I need new speakers. Oh, this is bad news. <laughs> because I've always had, I've always liked how they felt out the sound, you know. And then I happened to look. It was seen to be coming out of the speaker to as I'm facing the computer to the to the left and I look up and I'm going to show you what was there next leaning up against uh, the speaker was this tin of simply gum mints my ginger mints tin and as soon as I removed that there was no more tinny sound no more staticky sound I was so relieved. And then I went back into the camcorder and raised the volume a little bit. <laughs> oh, but I thought, oh no, all my stuff is going to sound tinny and staticky. I'm so relieved because I do have some Swatch With Me videos that I downloaded a couple of nights ago that were, you know, in that mix. And I was thinking, oh no, every, every video that I did that I just downloaded. Okay, this one is... Every video is affected. This one is, this is teal, right? Would you say this is a teal color? Last but never least. Or maybe this is green turquoise or something. There's a blue turquoise I've noticed. A lot of manufacturers label something. Uh, blue turquoise, green turquoise. Oh, I would like that. Let's wait for it to dry. It doesn't take very long for these to dry. And I've got a very pretty, what I wanted to see was if any of these paints would stain my silicone coaster over here. Well, this is a hard to get the green out of the brush here. We try not to make too much noise. I'm just wiping the brush on the sides there. Come on, are you really gonna stay in there? Don't stay in there. You're just messing around. Ooh. I'm just messing, <laughs> wasting time. <laughs> gonna gonna hold these up I put I did put a little bit of white there on the side as you can there's still a reddish tint a very slight reddish tint but we have black and <laughs> what is that color mauve is that maybe mauve dusty lavender right and I'm just gonna go up since we don't have the names on them on that white one, it does look like I got rid of a lot of the reddish tint. I hope I'm not going too fast for you. There we go. Artessa watercolor paints. Now there is another watercolor paint set that's like this from Artessa and there are other companies that have come out with I'm gonna just zoom out. <clears throat> uh, similar palettes. Things that look like this. And I'm going I'm going to have to after I turn off the camera I'm gonna have to let this 
dry in between here. I was using it uh, to get extra water for the brush. That's actually not such a bad idea. Uh, but then I also run the risk of mixing paint, right? Because there's a little, that lavender. So this is would be lavender. And I may call this like lilac, I guess. Hmm. Another thing is I would have to be careful about I'm starting here and of course this would be the black so in in hindsight or in <laughs> in hindsight maybe I should have uh, picked out a card or or used watercolor paper that's the same width as this palette here and or pan that's what it's called so so that I could keep them, um, you know, nine, four rows of nine there instead of six rows of six. Oh, well, what are you going to do? I'm going to put this in my swatch, swatch album. And, hey, not too bad, actually. And who knows, maybe I'll create another one that has nine across and four down and keep it with this one, maybe tape it to the back. Yeah, that would work. Okay, what's your favorite color? <laughs> what was I, do I have a sign off? I do have a sign off. I think I have a, a sign off for Swatch With Me. Oh, uh, but please comment, like, share, and subscribe. And thanks for watching and have an artistic day. Bye.